with 383 horsepower, enough room to fit 8 passengers, and a towing capacity of 7,000 pounds. Introducing the newest and latest luxury 2015 Lexus LX570. First and foremost, the LX570 is an SUV that features an extremely spacious interior filled with improvement and technology. So with so much weight bearing on its four wheel, you may think the acceleration time may suffer, but in fact it doesn't. The 2015 LX570 acceleration time from 0 to 60 come in just under 7.5 seconds, comparable to most vehicles half its size. That's pretty amazing. The LX570 is equipped with four-wheel drive system to help maximize traction control and to evenly distribute engine power between the front and rear wheels. The 2015 LX570 is also very capable when it comes to off-road adventures. With features such as the active height control and adaptive variable suspension, the LX570 has the ability to automatically raise the vehicle height up up to 3 inches accordingly to accommodate tough road conditions. Some additional off-road technologies include crawl control and multi-terrain selection, which includes rocky condition, dirt, sand, and muddy conditions. Long story short, the LX570 has everything there is to offer. Here's a remote. On the remote, we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. Also have a switch for us to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it and take a closer look at the interior. Now the LX570 does come with smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse or somewhere on your body. To unlock, just put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply press this button on the outer side. Now as you can see, all four handles are made of chrome, looks very nice. Quick view of the interior, interior is all leather. Back row seats. To start the engine, all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake and press the start button right here. To open the hood, that's going to be a metal lever located right in the middle. All you have to do is push it up and raise the hood. Under the hood, this specific 2015 Lexus LX570 has a 5.7 liter V8 engine. It is a 6 speed automatic transmission with sequential shift. The V8 engine is able to push out 383 horsepower at 5600 RPM with 403 pound foot of torque at 3600 RPM. The LX570 can get from 0 to 60 in approximately 7.5 seconds, and its top speed is electronically limited to 137 miles per hour. Keep in mind this is a permanent four-wheel drive vehicle. As for fuel economy, the 2015 LX570 gets 12 miles per gallon in the city, 17 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 14 miles per gallon. And lastly, the LX gas tank can hold up to 24.6 gallon. Up front, there's the rain sensing variable intermittent windshield wiper with the de-icer function. Moving down, the LX is equipped with a 360 degrees wide view system that includes the mounted front camera located right below the Lexus logo. To further enhance visibility, there's the HID high intensity discharge headlamps, integrated fog lights, and LED daytime running lights. Front lighting system also have dual swivel function which will rotate right or left according to the steering wheel movement. For additional safety and convenience, the LX bumper also have built-in parking assist to notify the driver when the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Here's a close-up look at the front camera. And lastly, the front bumper is also equipped with the dynamic radar cruise control to automatically adjust the LX speed and distance with the car ahead. Moving over to the side, there's the driver's side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal. 
Side view mirror can also be power control and also have power folding feature. This specific model comes with 20 inch 5 spoke wheels with graphite finish and 285 50 mud and snow tires. Behind the wheels we have the 4 wheel power assisted disc brake, 4 channel multi-terrain anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution and assist and 4 piston front calibers. Front wheels are equipped with 13.4 inch ventilated disc brakes. And as for the rear it is equipped with 13.6 inch ventilated disc brakes. All four wheels are equipped with tire pressure monitoring system. Starting from the top, there's the rear spoiler with integrated LED brake light. The rear is also equipped with parking assist and a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. Let me go ahead and zoom in and show you a closer look at the camera. This overall is a great safety feature to assist drivers in backing out and parking. Both tail lamps and brake lights are full LED. There's the exhaust pipe. The spare tire. Trailer light pin connector. Trailer hook right next to it. And again, the LX maximum towing capacity is 7,000 pounds, which is a lot more than some trucks can pull. As for the gas tank, Lexus does recommend premium gas only, as you can see right here. Twist to the left to unlock. Simply twist back to close. And as part of the surround uh, camera system on the passenger side view mirror, there's also another camera located below the side view mirror here. Very nice safety feature. And we're back on the inside. Steering wheel is half leather and half wood. Looks and feels very nice. Over to the left, we have the volume up down, channel control, and different audio modes control. Lexus logo in the middle with the horn. Bluetooth phone answering option, voice command, and the adaptive cruise control on the bottom. And the display button right here gives you the option to control everything that's going to be displayed on the odometer here. Also tell you if your tire it has enough pressure or not. Behind the steering wheel we have the windshield wiper control. Press down to increase and up to decrease. Intensity control in the middle here. And simply pull it towards us to release the windshield washer. And to twist the knob on the end here to control the rear windshield washer. You can leave it on intermittent or on on. Here's the cruise control. Press this to turn it on or off. And press down or up to increase or decrease speed. This side we have the right and left turn signal. Up for right, down for left. Twist the knob on the end to control the headlamps. You can leave it on on or auto. Pull it towards us to turn on the high beam. Fog light control in the middle here. We have a small knob to control the steering wheel placement. You can move the steering wheel up, down, away from you, or towards you. Single AC and heat vent. Headlight washer. And right below we have the side view mirror power control. You can leave it on auto or fold it manually. When on auto, the side view mirror will automatically fold when we lock the door and it will automatically unfold when we unlock the door. And here's the adjustment for the side view mirror, odometer dimmer, and odometer trip reset button. Starting from the left, we have the heated steering wheel control, traction control, and all the way to the right is the trunk release button. 
small storage compartment. Here's the parking assist button. Press it once to turn it on and press it again to turn it off. And right next to it is the surround camera view button. Press that to turn on all your cameras. When you see this green icon on the dash, meaning parking assist is on. And when you press the camera view button, the camera view will automatically display on the screen here. This is the front camera view and the passenger side view there. And notice as you turn the steering wheel, there's also guided lines on the passenger side view mirror to help you with parking and turning, which is again also a very good safety feature. And to turn the camera off, simply press the camera button again. On top, we have the driver's sun visor with a small piece of mirror. You can also move this over to the side for better sun coverage. Small credit card holder on the end here. Still have an extra piece for the front. Two additional AC and heat vent with the GPS display right in the middle. And it is fully touchscreen. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that to you. Full AC and heat control. Complete audio control. And back to the GPS screen display. Moving down, we have the different display option. You can select from climate, audio, or map. Further down, we have the different AC heat control temperature control on the right or in the left. In the middle, we have the hazard light control. And this is where you insert your CD in. To control the volume, simply twist this knob on the left side here. And to turn the audio on and off, simply press down on it. Channel control on the right. Here we have the heated and cooling control for the driver's seat. Simply twist it to the left for cool and twist it over to the red side for heat. Same goes for the passenger side. In the middle we have a removable ashtray with a cigarette lighter which can also be used as a outlet charger. Here we have the 12 volt outlet charger, USB and auxiliary input, and to control the gear shift box, just push your foot down the brake, move it down to R for reverse. When you do this, the rear view camera automatically displays just like so, with guided line. And as you can see, as I turn the steering wheel, the line moves also. Move it down to D for drive and over to the left for S for standard mode. After that, you can just simply push up or down to change gears. And the gears also display on the odometer. Let me go ahead and show that to you. As you can see right there, it's in third gear right now. On the side, we have the emergency handbrake. Two cup holders in which you can remove the middle piece for easy cleaning. And right here is all the off-road control. Starting on the left, we have the four-wheel drive system control. H4 is for normal mode and L4 is for low mode for maximum torque on steep hills, in mud or sand or tow in heavy loads. Moving over to the right, we have the crawl feature, which you can activate depending on tough roads condition or terrain, and the vehicle will slowly crawl through the conditions safely. Very nice feature. And next we have the suspension control, in which we can raise the height of the car of up to 3 inches. You can simply push it up to raise the height, and move it down to decrease the height. And I'll go outside to show you what it looks like in a second. And lastly, all the way to the right, we have the different driving modes control, all the way on top with the sport, in the middle for normal, down for comfort, 
Now in the comfort mode you get more gas mileage but less power, in the sport you get more power but less gas. Here's a view with the suspension raised all the way up to 3 inches. As you can see it's pretty high up. With the tire raised all the way up you can see everything that's behind the wheel. And here's a view of the suspension all the way down. As you can tell there's a dramatic difference. For the front tire, you can no longer see anything behind the wheels. And we're back on the inside. Let's continue with the middle armrest compartment. As you can see, it is split in half. And there's different opener control down here. Two on top and one on the lower side. With the two on top, you can slide it forward for a better feel of the armrest. And the bottom control is used to open the whole middle armrest compartment. Inside, we have a cooler, refrigerator, whatever you may call it. Come in handy if you want a cold drink or a cold wine or beer. One press button right here to control the power. Very nice. Glove box compartment. As you can see, the dash has some wood trim. Makes the LX570 looks very luxurious. Full dash view. Moving up, we have the rear view mirror. Rear view mirror has built in universal garage door opener. You can simply input your garage door codes into the car and use these three buttons to open and close your garage doors. glass holder, light controls, and in the middle we have the SOS for roadside assistant. Press that and you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistant. And on the left and right we have the sunroof control. Sunroof have tilt function and fully open function. There's a tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Show you a quick view of the sunroof. Tilt function is currently on. It's kind of hard to tell. But overall a very cool feature. On top we also have two roof rails for you to carry extra cargoes. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Starting on top we have up to three easy memory readjustment for the driver's seat. Wood trim also looks very nice door handle, four power window control which is all automatic, lock and unlock button and on top the window lock button, side door compartment, Lexus door seal which can be found on both driver and passenger side, brake and gas pedal, on the left we have the gas tank release lever simply pull out to open and on the right we have the hood release lever Pull it out all the way to open the hood. 14 way power adjustable driver's seat with lumbar support. Very nice. Now, driver's seat again is ventilated, which can be controlled with heat and cool air. Seat belt is very smooth and quiet. You can also adjust it by moving it up or down. Handball on top and another on the front.
the lock feature is present on all four door handle you can simply press the black button to lock the door here's a quick view of the middle row seat right here we have power window control and another ashtray side door compartment speakers door lighting now let's go ahead and jump inside again I'm five foot seven so this give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have and I feel very comfortable back here quick view of the front from sitting in the back two additional AC and heat vent, complete dual climate control, and down here we have the audio and video input for the two monitor which is located behind the driver headrest and the passenger headrest. You can control the volume independently for both monitor. There's also built-in headphone input. Here's the monitor, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. Further down below, we have another 12 volt core charger. Back seat compartment. Now this second row seat also have ventilated seats, which you can also control with heat and cool air which is a very nice feature headrest for the middle passenger you can also move this whole middle piece down and you do so by pulling out this string right here it's kinda hard for me to do with one hand okay let me try here Here it is. And inside here, you have two buttons. This one, when you open, have two additional cup holder for the passenger. And here, for more storage compartment. Very nice. So far, I really like the LX570. Seat belt's also very smooth and quiet, and you can also adjust it by moving it up or down. Hand bar with a spot for you to hang your clothes. AC and heat vent. Another one back there. And now if you notice, pay close attention down here. If you pull these out, there's a latch system that's built into these two seats. Now below you'll be able to hook your baby seats in here securely which is again a very nice safety feature. Here's a quick view of the third row seat. And on top we have light control for each row. Now let's see what else we have on the middle row seat here. Here's a power control in which you can move the seat forward or backward. And to fold down the seat and get access to the third row seat, you have to use this manual lever right here. Just pull it up and the seat will fold down. Push it all the way up. And here you get access to the third row seat. Looks very nice. You can also do the same thing on the other side of the seat. All right, went inside, pull this back down, and raise the seat back up. And here I am in the third row seat, and I feel, how should I say this? I feel pretty comfortable back here actually. 
as you can see let me show you my leg space I don't feel too crowded of course there's not as much space as the second row seat but again it's not too packed and have enough space for me to feel comfortable two more additional cup holder here hand bar AC and heat vent light control on top Here's a closer look at the seat. You can also fold down the headrest. And there's also a very nice feature with this third row seat here. And I'll show you in a bit when we look at the trunk. To fold down this seat manually, you can pull out this lever right here. On top we have the seat belt for the middle passenger, which looks pretty cool. Stick it back into place here. And here's the complete view of the interior of the LX570 very roomy very spacious and i have to admit i really like it now let's check out the trunk to open the trunk there's going to be a button down here just press it and it'll be open now the trunk is split into 50 50 that button will open the top portion to open the bottom portion there's going to be a lever let's go ahead and show that to you here it is just pull this lever out and the bottom portion will open also Right inside, look like we have the trunk net right there. Also have some trunk mats. Again, looks pretty cool. Come in handy when you're on a picnic or something. You can just sit on the back of the SUV here. Right here, we have two secret compartment. You can simply twist it over to open. And here's all your tools one empty compartment so you can store anything you need toolbox rest nicely under it and this is the key lock to your tires looks very nice and neat remember to lock it back All right, over here, we have a house charger adapter. Very convenient. And this is the feature I told you about earlier. Very cool and very nice feature right here. As you can see, these buttons are used to control the third row seat. Press a single button right here to fold down the seat. All right, very cool, right? And to raise up the seat, simply press the arrow up button and the seat will automatically raise up and lock into place very nice same goes for the other side now you have plenty of space for luggage or carry anything you need and again you can also fold down the second row seat also for more storage space and to put the seat back down, just simply press the down arrow button. And use this right here to pull the seat back up. And lastly, we also have the trunk lighting. And to close the trunk, there's a power button control on top, which you can simply press to close. But before doing this, make sure to remember to close the bottom portion first. After that, you can simply press this button to close the trunk.
All right, guys, that's all for the day. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, make sure to leave me a comment and feedbacks as to what you think about this car. Also, don't forget to check out our new website for the latest news. For more future car reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our Facebook page for our everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video review.